welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be filming the highly requested apartment tour. I am so, so excited to be filming this because I've been living here for almost six months now and I've been dying to film this video since I moved in here. So I'm gonna take you guys through. I just wanted to wait until everything was like completely furnished and in its place and in its home because it took a long time to get basically everything in here. I wanna give a quick shout out to Jinda Lee. She is actually one of my subscribers and she reached out to me when I first moved in and said, hey, I just graduated design school or interior decorating. Would you like me to help you basically decorate your new apartment? And I was like, yeah. That girl was so about her work. Like she made maps of everything of how it would be placed and we brought it all to life as you'll see in this video. I'm gonna go ahead and jump right in. You're gonna meet somebody new in the video too. If you wanna meet that new person, you gotta stay tuned. Oh, and also I want to quickly thank Framebridge for sponsoring this video. They actually are the reason I have one of my most favorite pictures ever in this video. So if you would like to see all of that, please do continue watching. Let's do it. Okay, so we open the front door and normally a wild floof ball appears. <laughs> hi, hi, this video is not about you for once. Uh-uh. Oh, I wasn't even gone for more than two seconds. This is my little coat rack and I'm so lazy. I put all of my shoes down here and I definitely should not be doing that. I'm just so tired when I get home, I just kick them off. But this is where I keep Prince's harness and leash, a couple of on-the-go coats, my keys, my purse, and I don't actually know what's in that bag, but I'm keeping it for safety, I guess. And then the next part of the apartment is the kitchen, which I love. There's not a lot of cabinet space, as you can see, so they helped me out and equipped me with a wonderful pantry where I keep basically all of my snacks and all my woman's best supplements and then some random knickknacks. P.S. If anyone has tried these, please comment below and let me know what you think. I'm gonna try these tomorrow morning and I'm very eager to find out what people think of those. So that is my pantry where I just keep all of the foods. It has this huge like lofty counter space. It just reminds me of a loft in general, but what's really cool is there is like a built-in fridge. <laughs> it like matches the cabinetry very seamlessly and here you can get a look into my fridge which is um, not that exciting. And then just the basic appliances, a microwave, toaster, my little Keurig, I bought a Vitamix. I got my cute little spinny thing for all of my coffees. I love brown sugar crumbled donut. If you haven't tried it, you should. And then I have this really kind of like, I don't know, like a chef's kitchen type of deal. The oven is all right, but the stove top is so cool and I love the vent system at the top and I personalized it a little bit because I cannot put magnets on this fridge. So instead I put them on my little stove bigger innovation thing. That is my kitchen. My friend actually made me this, which I thought was really cute because you guys know Flourish is my thing. And then I got this really cool little art piece at Ikea for like 15, 20 bucks. And I just put that in the kitchen to add a little bit of character. Please don't mind the few dishes that I have. That is actually from today. And then you move on to over here and there's like a little wine cellar thing, which I do not use, not a cellar, but a little wine holder, which I don't use. And then these two chairs that I also got from Ikea for probably $40 and then more cabinet space over there, which is actually Prince's little little cubby, all of his treats and his snacks and his food. He knows this cabinet very well. Then over here, it's like more of my office stuff. Since I like to keep my desk looking pretty clean, I like to just put everything in here. Okay, Prince, get out of there. <laughs> this is a nice little overview of the kitchen and doorway area. And moving on to my dining area, this is what I mean by Jinda creating something and bringing it to life. She literally helped me find all of these furnitures, these vases, these pictures, and we made it a little ensemble slash storage area because like I said, my apartment does not have very much storage space and she helped me bring this all together. We found the little fake plants, we found the vases, and then we just kind of brought it to life. So I've got some plants, a very modernized version of Frida Kahlo, and then que será será, what will be, will be, and then these two vases, a little geometric piece from Target, and then in here, this is actually not very easy to open, so uh, we're not gonna bother, but it has games and stuff in there for my entertainment purposes. And then we have my table, which I'm not gonna lie, was uh, pretty expensive. I got it from CB2. A lot of the stuff that I actually have 
have in this apartment was from CB2 and that's basically because I bought all this stuff with the intention of keeping it basically forever because I would consider everything I got pretty stable pieces like that could be kept forever this can be kept forever and as the apartment tour will continue you will see they can stick around for a long time then the cheaper things are like my rug I got that rug from Target so what I did here was I wanted a darker wood to contrast with these kind of lighter mixed wood and to kind of add some contrast I got these suede chairs they're really comfy and soft and cushiony I only got two of these chairs because I do not have a lot of guests over I figure obviously with my sofa and these chairs there is plenty of room for everyone to sit down and get comfortable and then these beautiful roses I can thank Nikki and Omar for after Beauty and the Beast came out I was like obsessed with the enchanted rose and Nikki recommended to Omar that he get me these million roses and they live a year so I've had these basically since I moved in for six months and they've only crippled a little bit for the most part they are still remaining intact and they are so beautiful I love them for a long time like at my last apartment I did have a desk area and I just completely ignored it because I would rather sit on my sofa or on my bed but I find that sitting here helps me be a lot more focused because if I sit on my sofa I will definitely just start watching TV and not get any work done so I like to keep this as modern and minimalistic as possible it looks basically like it has not been touched ever and that is the look I'm going for right Prince and then something not as exciting but this is Prince's little playpen and I basically <laughs> I have attachment issues. This is only staying because one, it keeps all of his stuff organized and in one place. And it's easy when I do have cleaners come because I could just put him in there and he kind of stays out of their way and he has all of his toys and his bones and all that fun stuff to kind of just relax and be in his own spot. But he doesn't need this anymore. He does roam free in my apartment. I just, I cannot fathom getting rid of this. I don't know. And then I would have this huge gap and so I keep it. Attachment issues. Then we have my living room, which is my favorite spot in this entire apartment. This is the wonderful nine foot sofa that I bought at a place called the Joneses in Beverly Hills. What's great about the Joneses is everything is custom made to the order. This is something they call a playpen. It's literally like a full size bed, just not as long as a full size bed. Usually like I could have up to three people sleep on the sofa and still be comfortable, but I'm always right here. Prince likes to sit up there. And then my wonderful old man and foster Herman sometimes likes to sleep on that white blanket blanket so that he could be close to us. Herman is a 13 and a half year old foster. He's a Lhasa Apso mix. And this little guy has been through the ringer. Basically, oh, no, it's not your time right now. So little backstory on Herman um, is just that he was really, really neglected basically all of his life, but more importantly in the last couple of years. But he's a champ. Yeah, you're such a champ and you look like a little Chewbacca. So this is his little bed and his little rest area and I love him. He's such a good boy and he's a little trooper. Moving on, this coffee table is from CB2 along with its components. I'm just gonna stop saying CB2. You are just safe to assume it is from CB2 and I will say otherwise if it's not. So I just have some candles, a picture of me and Prince when he was just a wee little lad. And then I just have some random little, I don't know, cube things, like little diamond shaped wood pieces that I got. And then this little incense burner and some candles and a real plant. And I can't kill this plant because it only needs to be misted once a week. <laughs> so you can't really mess that up. And then this is my view, quite exquisite. It's actually not the greatest sunset today. Normally it's like purple and pink and everything like that and I see lots of helicopters fly by as you could see in the distance but I do love my view and I can always tell when there's traffic because well I could see the highway but I can't hear it which is great so finally for this area we have my entertainment center which I got from Ikea for I think like 200 bucks and I got a ps4 down here that is what we're working with how you doing Herman you look happy he's got a little crooked mouth oh you're such a good boy yeah, you're a good, you're a good boy. That is it for the kitchen, dining area, living room, and my working space and playpen. Moving on, we will do my bathroom because that's not as exciting, but this is uh, just the little hallway that takes you there. In there, I have my washer and dryer. Not very exciting, literally what you see is what you get. These, this is my little storage space. And then in here is like the water and gas pump, which I'm not even gonna bother opening. Some clean clothes that I need to fold. A little space for 
whatever, I guess, decor. And then we have my bathroom. And one of the lights are actually broken, that light up there is, so I need to get that replaced. But I'm gonna do a really quick overview with this because this is not very exciting, but it is just what you would imagine. It's a bathroom. It has a sink, it has my makeup, it has teeth stuff, hand wash, moisturizers, face stuff, some cute pictures, and then a very adequate amount of cabinet space, if I do say so myself. And I used a bunch of little Target carrier things to kind of organize it all, since they're not drawers and they're just like shelving, I figured that would be easiest. So as an example, I just have like Band-Aids, Sally Hansen for mustache problems, <laughs> tampons, some Lush products, and more hair products that just end up going everywhere. And then in there I have all my bikinis, and then more bathroom stuff. <laughs> Normally I have towels here, um, but they all are being washed right now besides my one clean towel. And then this is like the little medicine cabinet. And then I have my hair tools and some more random miscellaneous products that I don't know what to do with. And then finally my shower and the toilet is back here. That's not exciting either. And my few products that I use on a regular basis. Okay, we're done with the bathroom. So last, ladies and gentlemen, we have the bedroom. Okay, super quick interruption though. We're gonna take the time to talk about Framebridge now because I've had this space cleared waiting for this package to arrive. Before we can even continue with this bedroom tour, I need to open this and get it in its special place. We're gonna go ahead and unbox this and I'll let you know a little bit more about why this brand is so freaking awesome. But before I open it, I will say that Framebridge is essentially a way to get a custom frame and a custom image for pieces that really mean something to you. I mean, it could be really of anything, but for me, I really loved it because because I'm able to turn my favorite pictures into an art piece in my apartment. You can basically send them a digital or a physical photo in the mail. I chose to do the Instagram route. I went on my Instagram and pulled a picture and had it framed. And when you do it digitally, it is obviously immediately in the system and you can pick out your frame and dimensions and all of that. Or if you wanna have somebody pick out a frame for you, which I had them do because I was like, this, this is a lot, this is a lot. And then they reply to you super quickly with three frames options and then you confirm your decision and then you get it in the mail. So the photo that I actually sent in was a photo of Prince because as you guys know Prince is the light of my life. He's my best friend. He is my world and I want to wake up to his face every single day even though I already wake up to him physically in bed. I don't know. It just makes me feel good to have a photo of him in my apartment. This is a photo that I took on Instagram and I'm so excited to see it in person live and not on my iPhone screen. This is the package. Quite big. Really hoping the photo isn't as big as this I'm hoping it's like more the size of this, but uh, we'll find out. Oh, that's relieving. It's not as big as the first box. And look it, it's all cardboard. Everything is recyclable. Yay for saving the environment. Okay, I don't know why I'm getting kind of nervous about opening this now, but let's just do it. I sing when I'm nervous. Okay, are you guys ready? Oh, so cute. Love, where are you? Come here. You need to see this. It's a photo of yourself. Bob, who is that? Sorry, I should show the people. I'm gonna die. Look at you, so cute. And it obviously matches perfectly with the theme of my room because this was taken in my room. Like he's feeling himself. I chose like a golden coppery sort of finish to it. Framebridge, you could not have done any better. This is so freaking adorable. If you would like to show some support and support Framebridge and also my channel, you can take advantage of Framebridge's deal. All of my viewers will get 15% off their first purchase of anything on Framebridge. So be sure to check it out on www.framebridge.com and take advantage of the code which is right here on the screen for you guys and I will also have it in the description box for you guys. Now we can continue with the room tour and I will put this in its new home. Okay. Okay, wait, wait. We gotta scoot this in a little bit. And we'll scoot that in. It's like it was made to go here. Oh my god. Bub, you're gonna be a star. You're gonna be famous. The sun is pretty much setting now and it is getting very dark, so I'll try and wrap this up. But welcome to my bedroom. This is my big Ikea mirror that I got for maybe $90 at Ikea. Back here is my closet, which is not that big and not that exciting, but I'll show you anyway. This is my closet. I actually had this built in. I got it at like Home Depot because before it was just one pole going across, as you can kind of see. <laughs> not kind of, you can clearly see by the marks on 
the wall, so I'm probably gonna have to pay for that when I move out one day, but this is where I put all my clothes. I'm not a crazy closet person. Like, I don't own that many clothes. I just own enough to get me through my life. Moving on to my dresser and my little, like, console area of my room. My boyfriend, for my birthday, bought me a record player. He got me the record player and the speakers and everything for my birthday, along with a couple of records, and I've just been slowly adding to my collection. Thank you to the couple of you that have commented and said not to lay my records down flat. I did not know any better, so now I'm standing them up straight. I will eventually get somewhere to put them, but that is this little area. I got my new little photo of Prince, looking all cute. I got this super cool piece on Etsy. Somebody that just like hand makes these. Let me back up a little more so you could really take it in. I love this part of my room. I just seriously get like college dorm girl in her first high-rise apartment vibes. That's what I'm going for, I guess. It feels really cozy and every time people come over, they just say they feel like they're at home. Then over here, we have my bed. It's just a queen size bed. I've had this same headboard since my last apartment. I got it from a store called like Steal a Sofa. I think it was like $200, $300. My comforter is from Urban Outfitters. Sheets are from Target and then this pillow is from Target and this one's from Target and then this one's from CB2. Away from this area, we have my little nightstand. So I like to keep this area like really organized. I'm just, I have organization issues. Got some candles, Kleenex because I always, always have allergies every single morning that I wake up. It is so annoying. And then my hydro flask and the book I am currently reading called The Golden Compass. And then the comic I am currently reading, conference, you are all up in my grill. The comic I'm currently reading called Deadly Class. And then this is my little seating area. <laughs> So fun fact, this is actually Nikki's, that white chair, and the white chair that was in the living room as well is also Nikki's. She brought them here for a game night and then I just never gave them back to her. And honestly, she just hasn't asked for them back. And then I just made it cozy with a little pillow and my teddy bear and then a little footrest. And then at night, since Herman is so old, I put these blankets here along with that bed that I have for him and he just sleeps there. And then finally, my favorite part of this room is this shelf that I got from Ikea. <laughs> so it's right next to this like pillar that is obviously like built into the apartment, but it's convenient because it helps me kind of separate the spaces of the room. Up here is basically like an honor to my mom. I have some of her old books, her Bible and her jewelry box, and then a little jewelry um, music box that she bought me a long time ago. And it has a butterfly on it because that was our thing was butterflies. Oh, and that's her back there. She's so pretty. So I just like to have a little tribute area for her where I can kind of look up there and just feel close closer to her, I guess. And then we go right into my comic book collection. I have a lot, so. And shout out to my girl, Alyssa. She's from the Flourish Strong Challenge and she bought me a couple of comics and I thought that was one of the sweetest things. Then we have this middle tier shelf and then more comic books down here. Just finished the Akira series. Please let me know if you've read it and what your thoughts were. Fables and Sandman and all that. And then down here we have my book collection, which is obviously very, very small in comparison to these two. And then finally, you could see my view again. <laughs> It's a little bit different over here, but virtually the exact same thing. That, uh, that's my apartment. Okay guys, that is going to be it for this apartment tour. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to throw it a thumbs up and let me know what your favorite part of the apartment was and your least favorite part of the apartment was. That way I could like figure out what to keep and figure out what to like maybe spruce up a little bit. This camera is so heavy, it's my DSLR, so I'm gonna finish filming here. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much and I'll be seeing you in the next video. Besitos, bye.